The federal government and some development partners believe the Niger Delta region is on track for a transformation from an oil and gas production region to a major agricultural hub. They share this vision in Port Harcourt during a review of a multi-stakeholder livelihood empowerment project designated for states that make up the region. Senior reporter Uche Koro has details. The Livelihood Improvement Family Enterprises Niger Delta project started in 2020 to equip 25,000 rural Niger Delta youth and women with entrepreneurial skills in agriculture. The International Fund for Agricultural Development and the federal government who are implementing the project say so far 14,000 small farmers have benefited. I'm quite confident that we are going to, going to change the narrative. The narrative that uh, the Niger Delta is not an agrarian region and uh, the narrative that the youths of this region are not quite enthusiastic and uh, uh, you know, committed to agriculture and see agriculture as a way of life. As a project, we will to change that narrative. We will to build some trust in the local and rural economy and rural environment that there's a need to have trust in government, that government can pro make promises and fulfill these promises. The project was designed for all nine Niger Delta states, but it has only been executed in the six states that are funded by the International Fund for Agricultural Development. There is hope that the Niger Delta Development Commission will fulfill its obligation to provide financing for the remaining three states of Imo, Rivers and Aquaibon. We were reassured yesterday by the MD and the CEO of uh, NDDC that this contribution will kick in soon. That will allow us to replicate the success that we have achieved through Life ND in the six other states, uh, achieve this same success in the three other uh, three states that are funded normally by NDDC. Yesterday, being the 16th of May, our budget, 2023 budget, was passed by the National Assembly. So hopefully, the obligation by end of this will be met. In the course of the project, beneficiaries are given practical training to enhance income, food security, and job creation through agribusiness. I started as an aquaculture incubator, but apparently now the training has opened me, have broadened my knowledge to different enterprises. I have knowledge on poultry production, specifically broiler production. I've also been trained on vegetation. Thank you very much. The first phase of the project is expected to end in 2025, and so the coordinators are recommending early preparation for the commencement of phase two for more effective implementation. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Hackett.